Speaking of progress, yesterday we showed you the president honoring the people who died at the Navy Yard by turning his speech into an anti-gun rant while he was fear-mongering about guns in Kenya, a country where you cannot buy these. You cannot have an actual gun, no rifles, no ARs, nothing. While they were holding hostages in the mall in a in a country where you can't own a firearm, somehow or another the rebels got a hold of some, an off-duty British SAS officer, a Marine, saved dozens of lives in the Kenyan shopping center. Now, how did that happen? Nerves of steel and amazing courage. But he had something else, too, on his side. I want to show you how he did it. If you look here, you see the object tucked right into the belt uh, of his pants. That, of course is a box of chalk, and he drew a terrorist free zone around the No! That's actually a gun. He was carrying a real one. Not one with the orange tip, a real one that goes boom, boom. He went back in 12 times and saved 100 people. Now, where is that story today? Where is that? Why is that not leading the news everywhere? Here's a hero in the world. The media is going to move on from this story over in Kenya because there's just too much they don't want you to know. There's a hero with a gun. It's a country that has strict gun control. Oh, and it also looks like some of the suspects came from America. Well, we'll continue to follow and point everything out to you.